Hello and welcome to a Chemsys MediQ tutorial. This one will have a look on how to copy data between heads. So let's say we got some fixtures, which we have recorded a color palette for. And I've got another set of fixtures to which we want to copy the color information. Well, the long way would be to, you know, remember all the the values and the attributes in the, in the color window and then try to adjust the encoders to match that. But there's a quick way. So what you want to do is select the fixtures with the color information you want to copy. Then you want to press shift copy to get the advanced copy uh, settings. Press include color to mask out and only include the color information. Close options then press on the fixtures you want to copy from and then on the to the fixtures you want to copy to. And as you can see, we now have copied the color information over to these, uh, to the other fixtures. And then you can store that as a palette as well. And what's interesting is that these fixtures are RGB and these, these are CMY. So it doesn't matter uh, what color system they use. Let's look at another scenario. So let's say we got some fixtures. And then we've got the subgroup, which we have recorded a position palette for. In this case, the leftmost fixtures of this row. We would like to, in this case, take the information here, but mirror it so we get a complete fan around here. Now here we're going to watch out because in the selection here, if we would do, we can use the same trick as before, but if, if we would apply it directly, you can see here that this is the order of the selection, the current selection. And when doing this copy, copy from head to head, it will take the order of, of the selection. So in this case, we get this head, this information over to here. And that's not what we want. We want this, the, head, the information from this head to this, and this head to this. And so then we can just mirror it and get the complete panel. So how would we do that? Well, we select the leftmost selection here. Hold down Alt, or I mean, and then press reversed. Now we close that. And then we do shift copy, include position, same trick as before, close options. And then we just press from left to right. And so now we can see that the information from this head has been copied to this head, but they are pointing to the left side. So what we need to do is press the right group, go to position, the position window, then press mirror and now we get the complete fan around. Well what if the number of fixtures in these selections are different? Well if we quickly record a, a group with just two heads of these If we select these two fixtures, one and two, and we do the copy, copying from this selection to these heads, we can see that they simply repeat these selections, the data from these two fixtures, uh, until it reaches the end here. So you can, do, doesn't matter how, you, you can have different number of fixtures in the selection it will still work. Now there is another way to copy data between heads. And that is via the programming window. We can see that these are the fixtures that use the tapel. These are the ones that don't. So first we need to reverse the selection. Hold down all, press reversed, or you can press down here. Then go back into the window here. Highlight the cells with the data you want to copy. Press copy. Now MagiQ will 
We want to press in the top left corner here and MagiQ will take the selection as visualized here and kind of apply it from this cell down here. So if I press here, we can see that data has been copied over. Nothing has changed in the visualizer yet, but we can just re so we need to reset the programmer by double pressing blind. Now we can see that the the fixtures here has ha, have taken the data and applied it. Now we go back into the position window and we can mirror it. One thing to note when copying data inside the program window is that MagicQ respects the attribute type of the data you copy. So for instance if you highlight some cells in pan you cannot simply paste them into the blue information. Neither can you take some blue information and paste inside the green. So that is good to know and also a kind of safety feature perhaps. For instance, if you highlight some information and you miss press, nothing will change. So just be aware of that. All right, thanks for watching. Hope you learned something about how to copy data between heads and I'll see you around. Thank you.